Let's take a look at A2019. So this is a completely clean machine. There's nothing on this except for Google Chrome, which I installed a little bit earlier. Uh, what we want to do in this video is we're going to set up the um, Automation Anywhere A2019 Enterprise um, client. We're going to install the bot agent and then we'll run a quick bot just to make sure that it's actually working. So let me go to the control room. Hopefully I can remember my login. Perfect. We'll have it save that because I'm not likely to remember it. All right. So the first thing it gives you is a prompt to create your first bot. We're going to skip that for right now. This is a really helpful thing to look at. It walks you through creating like a Hello World style bot. We'll do that here in a second. Um, the tutorial is really cool, but for right now, we're going to we're going to skip that. The first thing we're going to set up here is our bot agent. If we look in the top right hand corner, we see there's a little, I don't know, yield sign or exclamation sign. Let's go to add a device. So I'm going to go over here to the devices pane on the left hand side. I'm going to click the plus sign next to the computer that says to add a local bot agent. This will allow it to connect to my computer. So it's going to install, well it's going to download the extension for the bot agent. Um, and then I'll be able to install this. And when I install it, it will connect to this control room and uh, allow me to start doing development. It will also allow me to run bots on this machine. So we're going to let that install. Again, this is to prove that nothing is uh, nothing up my sleeves, no sneaky tricks here. Um, this is all happening for the first time on this box. As it's finishing up, the other thing that we're going to have to add, and I'm not sure if it's going to add with this or not, is we'll have to add the Chrome extension. If you see here, I don't have any extensions installed, so we'll have to take care of that. Okay, let's let that go. Yes, to install. Okay, so that bot agent is installing itself now. There really isn't a whole lot for you to do as a part of this installation process. It's actually pretty impressive how automated it is because it'll uh, automatically connect to this control room as well. I'll let that go. All right, it is installed. The next thing we have to do is enable the extension. Um, the extension is not showing up as uh, an available item for me. So I'm gonna hit need help. And let's click this to go to the extension page in the Chrome store. I'm gonna say add to Chrome. We will add the extension. Cool, so that's, that's on there. Let's go back here. Extension is enabled. Now it's gonna connect. Perfect. So let's refresh that. It should show, yep, so we've got a green check mark there. It says that it's connected. The other thing we can do here is if we hit update credentials, um, that will allow us to deploy a bot. So it's got my username in there. I'm gonna put in my password for the machine, assuming I can remember that. Hit update. Cool, and that'll allow me to deploy bots to this machine. So let's go back over to our dashboard here that uh, and we'll start with create a bot and we're just gonna do a super basic bot here we'll say hello world create and edit uh, we'll just do a simple simple bot just to make sure that we can actually create something and see it run locally I'm gonna go to message box drag that guy over um, again what I really like in a 2019 is you do have the ability to do this visual kind of flow view or the list view, or both. I like to have both up, just because that's how I like to work. Sometimes it's helpful for me to see things in a, in a listed out method. Here we're gonna say, first bot down, go be great. We'll hit apply, save, and then the moment of truth. 
We will run the bot. It will do some pre-processing. Again, depending on what steps your bot is actually using, there might be different dependencies that are downloading. So I've seen this, you know, download sometimes uh, much larger files than this, but this says 1.5 meg. I've seen it go larger. Again, if you're doing recording or some of that kind of stuff, uh, that can that can take a little bit longer to, to establish those dependencies. There we go. Our first bot is in the books. Um, go be great. We got that working. Super quick video just to get the bot agent set up, get it installed, create a very simple bot just to get started to prove that it's working. From here, you can go on and create all kinds of different bots, use the recorder, do web scraping, anything you want. But now we at least have a machine that is set up, established, and working. Go be great. Make some awesome bots. Ooh.